Hey everyone, we're here with Chef Leon uh, presenting the Mother's Day special for 2019. It's going to be a grilled shrimp and watermelon caprese. So we're going to start uh, Sunday morning before Mother's Day. Go ahead and do this before service. Get it out of the way. Uh, we're going to start by cutting seedless watermelons and we're just going to cut a flat spot on the bottom of the seedless watermelon so it won't roll on us while we're cutting. So you can see we just took the rind off so you can see pink. Go ahead and roll it on its flat spot. This will keep it nice and stable as we cut. Uh, Chef Leon's going to take and make six equal wheels. Uh, first he's going to cut it in half and in each half he's going to get three about one inch wheels uh, from this watermelon. As he's cutting this into uh, six wheels, uh, I'll say that I pre-ordered each store 10 each seedless watermelons. At six slices per, that gives us 60 pieces of watermelon to run for Mother's Day. Uh, if you don't use it all for this, then we can use it for brunch fruit, which is the same what we're going to do with the ends here in a minute. Uh, but you can see Chef Leon's cutting the wheels equally thick, uh, about an inch thick and he's got six center cut wheels and then the two end pieces that we're going to use for brunch free. So he's going to take and reserve those over to the side. Uh, once those are all cut, and go ahead and cut all your watermelon at once and get this out of the way before service again. Uh, he's going to take the knife and then cut the rind off or cut it away from the inside uh, of the pink uh, watermelon on the inside. Uh, we didn't do this before because the, the rind helps protect as we're cutting wheels, it won't smash. So now we have a wheel right here. Uh, it has no rind on it and it is seedless, about an inch, three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, what we're gonna do is take all of our pieces of watermelon like this. Uh, once we have all the watermelon sliced, we're gonna lightly spritz it with uh, oil for the grill and then sprinkle it with salt and pepper very lightly. And again, we're going to do all these at once. Okay, so now we have a seasoned piece of watermelon, very lightly misted with oil. We're going to go ahead and put this on the grill. Again, first thing in the morning when the grill is nice and hot and especially clean. And what we're going to have is a grilled piece of pineapple, uh, or I'm sorry, watermelon. watermelon. Yeah. Uh, this went for approximately one minute per side. So we're going to make the, set it down, let it rest for a minute, make our cross marks, and then pull it off. Uh, as we pull it off, we're going to have to put it on a sheet pan so it has time to cool, so it's not cooking. All this is doing is kind of caramelizing and giving it that, that mesquite or smoky flavor from the grill. Uh, so it's a beautiful piece of grilled pineapple. So we're going to go ahead and reserve that to me over here. And we're going to show the final step really quick while we're working with the knife. And you guys all remember the chiffonade. Uh, we're going to just bring back the chiffonade. This time we're going to use mint. So all the, all the watermelon slices have been grilled. Now we're just going to take the, the mint leaves and we're going to stack the mint leaves and then kind of roll it up, kind of like back in college. And then we're going to take a knife and thinly slice, uh, thinly slice these rolls of mint so they're long strands or now we have chiffonade of mint. So we're gonna take and reserve that for last. I just wanted to show you that really quick while we're prepping, so there you go. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start building the salad. We're gonna start with a chilled, this is on the line here. Uh, we're gonna hold these watermelon slices once they're grilled in between wax paper. Uh, once they're cooled, we're gonna layer them up in wax paper. We get the order, uh, and this is what will happen. The grill will fire the shrimp as it's called in. And the salad station will take the grilled piece of pineapple, which will be underneath salad station in between the wax paper, put it inside of the chilled bowl, and you can see how it kind of perfectly fits in the bottom of the bowl. Then we're going to toss the arugula and the honey balsamic dressing together in a mixing bowl. And this is two ounces or one six pan full of arugula with two ounces of the honey balsamic. Uh, recipe cards are attached. Uh, we're going to layer that about covering one third of the grilled watermelon right at 12 o'clock on the plate. And then we're going to layer the two slices of fresh mozzarella to come off the left side. Uh, after that, we're going to have the candy pecans and we're going to spill those right on top of the arugula. Now that's uh, 
0.6 ounces or a black spoodle, and that's to garnish the greens. At that point, the salad station can go ahead and put this uh, in the side window, and the grill person will finish this by taking six grilled shrimp, and these are not skewered, these are just six grilled shrimp that are seasoned with salt and pepper, and we're gonna put the hot shrimp onto the cool pineapple and the cool arugula salad, and just kind of present those in front, stack everything up, make it nice and high, and then we're gonna finish the salad with that uh, chiffonade of mint. Okay, so now we have nice honey balsamic kind of leaching onto the grilled watermelon. The flavors of the watermelon leaching onto the shrimp. The fresh mozzarella just kind of blends everything together. So there you have it. It's the grilled shrimp in watermelon caprese salad. Please call my shop, myself or Chef Leon with any questions. Thank you.